I'm silly and I'm grown and that makes me the silly grown up. Bianca here at Be Silly Grown Up with another tip for you. Yes, I do have a little co-host today. This is Fancy. Fancy's for sale and I'll tell you about her later. But today's tip is about this stuff. CDs, DVDs, games, anything that is easy to get scratched up and costs a whole lot of money, that's it. Anyways, if you have children, you know that that's something that happens all the time is you get the game scratched up. And don't worry, it's not a loss, okay? I have looked up various methods so that I can share this tip with you today because I use something myself, but I also wanted to have more information in case something seemed easier for you or something seemed better or you actually had that something at home, okay? So here's a list of things that you can use to get the scratches off. People use toothpaste, bananas, and with the banana is you just take a banana literally, put it on top and you know smush it in there and then wipe it off. Um, conditioner, hair conditioner, which is the tip that I'm gonna use and that's how I'm gonna show you. And pledge furniture spray, Rain X, Brasso, and um, I even heard of somebody using sandpaper. But all those names that I just said right now, the method is the same as the method I'm gonna show you, which is like I said, conditioner so you can just take a little bit and I'm gonna tell you right now that this video I actually put it on last night for my little one to watch and it was scratched it was you know it, it wouldn't go it was just sitting there like eh. so I told her don't worry mama's gonna take care of it and so before I even did this I already um did it to this video to make sure it works and as of as always it did so this is what you do you take your video on the scratch side and you just, here's the conditioner. You can, you're gonna use more than this. But what you just do is very gently, you know, make little circular motions and apply it to the whole disc, okay? All the way around. Not the circle in the middle, but. Now a lot of websites just say that you um, rub it on and then rub it right off. But for me, I think it, you know, it. It's the way I've always done it, but I leave it there for a little bit because, I don't know, for me it's like working, you know. Put it in there and it's working. And now, go ahead and grab a microfiber towel and wipe it off. So you just, again, wipe it in circular motions, okay. Do, 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 go in circles. Basically just wipe it, wipe it very carefully. You don't want to break it. That's the whole reason why we're doing this. So wipe it until you get it all off. And you're not going to notice a difference. I absolutely do not. Um, one of the sites that I read said, you know, if you still see scratches, do it again. But I see scratches, and like I said, I put it in there. It worked absolutely today. So it does do it. I would never give you a tip that didn't work for me. It's not going to work for every single one, um, but it's a great help, and it really has worked for me almost every time. Now, the thing is, is that the data of these DVDs, CDs, whatever, is underneath the label. So you have a little bit of like a thicker, you know, barrier to kind of protect it. So that's why you can buff things out. But if it's like a really deep scratch or, you know, you can see the scratch on the other side, I would say your chances of getting that fixed are going to be very slim. Now, I told you I researched it and I have more information for you, but there was one lady who said that she works at a DVD rental place. I would think like Blockbuster or something. And she said they have machines that does that. It takes out the scratches. And she says people bring it to her, a DVD or whatever, and she fixes it with no charge, nothing. But that's just her. Some stores, they will either charge you or they might say, no, that's only for store use. So you can try it. That's just another option that you have. Now this third option, I'm not too sure about as far as I don't know it, I can't try it out. It is um, getting a buffer wheel for your bench grinder. I, I'm not a car accessories person, but it's a car accessory um, store is where you would find that. And they say that you use a cloth buffing wheel in a drill press with buffing compound specific for plastic, not metal, because that's um, too coarse. And this guy is Mr. Bill Turner, and he was in the Google Groups forum, and he says he's had a 100% success rate with that. So if you've got all of that, 
and know what the heck that is or if you want to google it and do it that way you can but like I said this is a lot easier and it's what I have around the house you know um, any of those things that I said toothpaste banana whatever they say that it's a silicon silicon oil that works it's less than 10% of that so it might not be listed in ingredients but that is apparently what works to get the DVDs working and that is that. I hope that you found my tip helpful. And now go ahead and get all those scratch DVDs and see if you can fix them. I'm Bianca, and thanks for watching. Like I said earlier, this little Yorkie is purebred, hypoallergenic, and she is for sale. If you want any information, send me an email and I'll tell you all about her.